Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we headed off to China to help Chairman Mao build a profitable transport empire in China, transporting grain, as well as food and goods, as well as its people around, to basically help the country rebuild after the Civil War. And in this episode, we're going to continue with the campaign to our very final mission of Chapter 2, aka Era 2, the mission all-inclusive. So let's head to the campaign and learn what we need to do in this final mission for said era. Mankind is constantly creating amazing new inventions that involve Mallorca, a peaceful island in the Mediterranean in the middle of the 60s. Things are laid back here. The rural population lives a humble but happy life, free from the hectic pace on the mainland. But seeing as how flying is turning into a mass market business, that could change rapidly. So our goal here is to basically use our airplanes to help Mioka become somehow a popular tourist destination, I believe. Maybe it's because I actually have done this mission before, and you may notice one of the bonus tasks is already unlocked. That's because I had a botched recording. I know, I know, botched recordings are a bit of a thing on my channel. That's because sometimes my video recording programs sometimes go on the fritz. So, basically, we have one of the bonus tasks unlocked right now, but we have yet to complete it. So, let's head over to Mioka and see what we need to do, as we are going to complete our final mission of Era 2. <laughs> There's not a lot on this sleepy island. Apart from sun, sea, and sand. There's plenty of that. You're a smart cookie. You've noticed. The location is perfectly suited as a destination for vacations. Like pilgrims, People from all over Europe will travel here to escape their day-to-day -day lives. Grab your opportunity and create a tourist paradise. Soon you'll be making money hand over fist. The latest technological advancements are going to turn flying into a mass market business. Ready for a vacation? The pale middle class from Central Europe yearns for some time off in a Mediterranean climate. Use attractive offers to lure them to Mallorca. Above all the Germans, along with people from Austria and Switzerland, let themselves be tempted by appealing all-inclusive vacation package offers. The island of Mallorca needs a functioning airport if the tourism business is supposed to get cranked up and going. Provide the necessary infrastructure. But before we do that, Welcome to Mioka, a small little island. As you can see, there's only a little bit of industry here. We have a grain farm, a construction materials plant, and a meat packing plant, as well as a distillery, and a site to drop off steel and construction material, and a place to drop off alcohol. And also on the other side, on this little island, is a cattle ranch and a quarry. But on the mainland, there is a machine factory, plastics factory and a tool works along with a steel factory goods factory and fuel refinery so we'll basically be well off with a bunch of industries to get our started with first of all we need to get some construction materials produced place down a large cargo ship stop here next to this construction materials plant and connect this quarry over here this and then we need to find a way to deliver steel we'll basically place a dock right here and also connect it with a road now in order for these trucks to deliver their steel and well the guests from austria gaze enviously towards palma where the germans throw rip-roaring beach parties so far Nothing like that has happened where they spend their vacations, but change is in the making. 
organize the kind of blast like the island has never seen. Okay. The beach is pretty, but kind of small. Make it bigger so that there's room for more bathing beauties and party animals. Which, thankfully, the plant editing tool comes in real handy. Just gonna extend it a little bit. Very nice. The beach is big enough. All that's missing are the people. The Austrian element is still a bit shy and uptight. Get a couple of uninhibited Germans from Parma over here. It'll get things going. Maybe after I get everything sorted out, Mr. Narrator, I have a transportation empire to build to basically cover the cost of me spending so much money on making a bloody beach. Ugh. Anyway. So, just like in the last mission in China, I'm basically going to make a road that's primarily one way to drop off the supplies right here. Hmm? Huh. A one-way street cannot have stops or waypoints on both sides. That's something I never saw before. I'll need a stop to basically pick up loads of steel. And I also need a pair of stops here. I'm gonna also extend this. Connect and connect. And then connect a small country road up here. And then get started on placing down a couple of these truck stops to drop them off of stone. And another one to pick up destruction material. Right, that one's done. Okay. Then I'll just need to add one here as well for my trucks to pick up the stone from the ships. And I also want to connect the main roads of this island. We'll use a large country road with a bus lane, player ownership so it won't basically change. And save for this road. And same for this one. Alright. That should basically do it. Now I just need to place down a shipping port. And, of course, a truck stop. Well, not a truck stop, a spot to wait to purchase ve road vehicles. Okay, roads are built. Now I just gotta get some ships in service. But first we gotta set up some new routes. But I'm gonna change a couple of these bus stops. I'm gonna change this to Bus Route A. Bus Route B. Bus route C and give them all yellow as they're primarily buses that work in a local area. I'll purchase a pair of these to, for one to pick up a load of stone from the quarry, bring it to me because possibly it never shows a compass, so I guess that's like let me see. Like the island's west side. We'll use blue for cargo ships. Ship route A. And then ship route B. 
have a full load. Have 10 minutes. Do that. And put it on that one. And purchase some trucks. We'll use a couple of these Man 19304 dump trucks on this. Truck route A. Truck route B. And truck route C. So I'll use 10 of these for route B. And basically 10 of these on route C because of the super short distance. Now when my truck army is out and one of my ships, I now need to get started on another one. Spec. Now, I want to get some intercity passenger trains operating on this side of the world, even though I may not be able to have permission to build trains on this part of the world, but that's not stopping me because the game tells me I can still do it anyway. So, we'll have one set of trains going one direction, and have a set of trains in this direction and basically we'll remove this out stretch of road and place down a four track station here Connected. Okay. Connect this side. I need to add a couple more of these passenger underpasses. Seventy-five. That's Speed, especially on my intercity trains. Construction not possible. I wonder why. down a pair of these next switches. Connect through that particular area. Right. I'll add a pair of diamond crossing tracks here. There we go. 
Let's slip switch there. Hmm. Add this and that. And then add one of these depots. And then we can start making some trains. After we add some signals, of course. And now we can get some of those express trains going. The express train will be purple. And for the local trains, which is local train A. Ray. Full train B. And now let's get some equipment. We'll use the series 1042 and a couple of these coaches. From the Express. And get a couple of this locomotive and a couple these so train A and we'll train B and now with my electric passenger trains up and running I think we'll basically call it for this episode so if you enjoyed this episode of my let's play of Texas Gaming Industries I want to basically say well, if you're seeing this right now, the, this is not what's going to be appearing in the next part of this episode, part 2, due to the fact that the file that I had for this basically was corrupted. So, basically, the next video will look, all the infrastructure will look very much different in the next episode. So, other than that, though... If you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play at Transport Keeper 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!